Bayanyak may be a newcomer, but he's already established himself as a popular actor thanks to his colorful portrayals of a variety of characters in Under the Queen's Umbrella, the drama Cheer Up, and the movie Ditto. With that warm smile, expressive eyes, and cute dimples, it's impossible not to fall for him. You're probably searching here and there for some stuff about him, and the way you stumbled upon this video is no coincidence. Here are some facts that you may not know about this rising actor. He aspired to be an actor since childhood. Bae in yok was born on April 4, 1997, in Jeonju, South Korea. He has wanted to be an actor ever since he was a kid. He even attended the Seoul Institute of the Arts Theatre and Acting Department in pursuit of his goal of becoming a professional actor. His commitment to acting is demonstrated by his statement that he is happiest when he is referred to be actor Bae in yok He went on to say that he'd rather have a long, fruitful career as an actor than a brief but highly visible one. My roommate is a Gumio launched his career. Many Korean dramas have succeeded in creating the second lead syndrome. Sometimes, the second lead characters gain more sympathy from the audience. Since he played a role in the hit drama My Roommate is a Gumio, the name of the actor Bae in yok has been widely recognized. Despite the fact that he was only a supporting actor, he was able to win over the audience by playing the character of a second lead in a drama who was unsuccessful in his pursuit of the girl he liked. Many fans started to ship the on-screen couple Bae in yok and Harry. He wasn't the first choice to star in At a Distance, Spring is Green. Due to scheduled conflicts, Lee shin Young was unable to take part in the drama, which was eventually replaced by Bae in yok He played the prickly and cold Nam soo Young, who is a perfectionist. Although he frequently falls asleep during lectures after working part-time jobs late into the night, he doesn't miss an A-plus for any of his classes. He slept only about two hours due to the many roles he starred in. Dramas My Roommate is a Gumio, and At a Distance, Spring is Green which he starred in in 2021, aired simultaneously. It shows that he shot two roles in close time. And it also happened in 2022. Not only did he play a second-year student of law school in Weiher, but he also took on the role of a cheerleader club president in Cheer Up, a crown prince in Under the Queen's Umbrella, and a student president in the movie Ditto. In the fourth year of his debut, he has already starred in 15 projects. He said that he didn't do it on purpose, but happened to do four projects this year. At the beginning of his debut, he felt like he could do everything with just his passion, but he is having a hard time lately. He also admitted that his body was affected. He told Dazed, I think there were lots of days when I only slept one or two hours before going to the filming set. Because I was filming the drama Cheer Up and the movie Ditto at the same time. He is willing to gain and lose weight for roles. In the 2021 drama At a Distance, Spring is Green, he played the college student who has to support his family by working part-time. To portray the character perfectly, he lost 6 kilograms in a short time. He then starred in the 2022 drama Weiher. Even though his role is a senior of the main character Huang in yok Bae in yok is younger in real life. To show maturity, he said, I think I tried to be calm and mature. I want to express Yoon Sung. I wanted to gain some weight. It's not that I gained more weight and it's sleek. I wanted to eat well. But it was not easy to gain weight. I gained about 8 kilograms compared to my previous work. Increasing weight is as hard as losing weight. In another interview, he admitted that he didn't have to make any extra effort while filming Cheer Up because he lost the weight naturally. In Under the Queen's Umbrella, he played the crown prince who was initially healthy, then his health deteriorated as time went by. Due to his busy schedule and consuming lots of stamina drinks, so he thought his tiredness was naturally captured on the screen. He is good at sports. Besides acting, Bae in yok also likes sports, especially soccer. In addition, his hobby of playing soccer makes his legs look big, so that the feet become one part of the body that makes him not confident. He also likes to play bowling, and even claimed that he was good at it. His bowling average is between 190 and 200 points, Besides that, he also loves baseball and basketball. He enjoys watching car videos. During an interview with his fellow Weiher cast members, he shared a fact about himself. Because he likes cars, he often watches car videos and reviews while waiting during filming. He wrote a diary. Keeping a diary is one of the most private affairs a person can indulge in. Channeling your innermost thoughts and feelings helps you keep emotions in check and put things into perspective. 
Bayan Yawk reportedly wrote a diary every day since his second year in high school. In the 2022 interview with Esquire, he said, This year, I stopped. I realized that keeping a diary would only be possible if the person is free and able to write it. I only need to invest 15 minutes a day, but it never works. He likes to spend time alone. As an actor, being away from home often is inevitable. While he liked hanging out with friends, he is very happy if he can enjoy just me and myself moments. In those moments, he gets to explore interesting places, walk, and contemplate the future. In fact, he says that he even tried going for barbecue alone, and he enjoyed it. He wants to play a villain. Bayan Yok has become well known for playing the good guy and has tried more cold, indifferent, and charismatic roles, but what if they played a totally evil character? When an Esquire interviewer asked him to play the role of a heinous villain, he said, I really want to try it too. A character that people hate.